Hello everyone, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. In the last video, I told you that you could decide is which country I should play. And you had your choice. Now let's see what the results were. Playing Syria and getting the Al-Assad's into power, so going Arab National Socialist actually got 3 likes. Poland got 2 likes, North Korea, Yugoslavia 1. ROC 1 and uh, North Vietnam got 0. Well, sadly, come on. I told you all to bloody drop a comment or just to like, come on, just 32 likes and 619 views. Just come on, just for like one click. It isn't that hard, is it? You. I just want to clarify to you that you can actually decide on what I should play. Therefore, you see that you. Well, I, I told you that you. You could decide. Actually, three guys, whoever were them, well done. Uh, it was a close run, but it, it maybe if more, if more people wrote something, if more people liked, then the result could have been different. I'm gonna this, uh, start, let's play, as Syria. I recorded actually once, but going fascist, because I didn't know I had to uh, get the other thing, so that's my mistake. Therefore, I'm, I have to... Make a new episode, despite being busy, well, I'm only making one video per week anyways, so that shouldn't be a problem for me. We play on regular, with, uh, not, not custom, it's turned off. Arm and mouth having, uh, random historical air focuses. Let's go ahead, call it, uh, let's delete the save game. Yeah. Assyrian Empire. Also, if you're asking yourself, what's that on P Francaise? A save game doing there. Uh, I actually decided to uh, play one episode as France. I can tell you, to playing uh, as France, to play as France is insanely fun. I'm gonna just first ahead go for the Arab Cold War, because that's the way we have to take. But playing as France was insanely fun. Uh, well, here the AI is a thing like always losing uh, the civil war, but actually uh, winning the civil war isn't that difficult, not at all. I mean, not the civil war, the uh, Uprising against the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. So um, I will be doing this as uh, primarily. Also, I find that Vietnam and uh, that Vietnam and South Vietnam have combined around 30 as uh, civilian factories, which I don't think should be the case. Anyway, so let's see. I never saw the Republic of China actually winning the Civil War despite them having more troops than the PRC has. So I am thrilled to uh, maybe now it's a different giant. Like maybe they are not evacuating their troops. I mean, none of them have ships, so well, it's well interesting. Whatsoever. Yeah, power said we will uh, get the bath in the power. The Hizb al Bath al Arabi al Istihari Qut Surya. Russo. Uh, we will complete the Arab, Co the Arab Cold War, get, get the rise of the SSMP. Uh, I think my first war will be against Lebanon. Lebanon is a small country and, and not a strong one, therefore we're gonna take them out first. Oh yeah, that's my mistake, I was forgetting to produce equipment for all the all time. We wasted who knows how many equipment. Self-propelled rocket artillery. Well, I'd like to produce that, but uh, our uh, industrial means are nowhere being sufficient enough to do that. Sadly, that's the case. What's that? Singapore is falling. All against the Federation of Malaya. The Europa Accords. Alright, the French Republic and the Democratic of Vietnam have signed a white peace. Which resulted in France losing all of their colonies there. Now the Indo Chinese region is independent, being uh, divided between the Kingdom of Laos, the Kingdom of Cambodia, the Empire of Nam, and the Democratic People's Republic of Vietnam. The Empire of Dai Nam actually not being guaranteed by. We have at least but having a truce for well actually it's just a few more months, so that's not that much. Yeah, price of the SSMP. Well actually the bath is well. 
I don't think the policy here is uh, quite well made. Well, the SSMP will first become the power, but after that the Bathists will become the power. Well, I think, anyways, I'm gonna do that. I mean, if we went that path, then we could have claimed the ancient the ancient Assyrian lands, resulting in us becoming Iraq, Lebanon and Turkey as a core state. Well, we won't do that. Also, I think we... Well, here, what is missing is, I think, a choice to actually uh, found your very own faction. Yep, you actually can't find your own faction, so we will be kind of isolated here. So I don't think it's really that exciting just to going all alone, not being able to have the Soviets or the Americans on your side. Yeah, we will not be able to create our own faction as well. Alright, we'll get a Baathist advisor. Where is it? Uh, bath, Bath, Bath. Nationalists, no. National Socialists. National Socialist. National Socialism. Yep. Uthman Ibn Mustafa. Him. Uh, let's just get actually war economy. And, uh, okay. The German Democratic Republic got established. Hello there, just get a little bit of description. And Indonesia won the Indonesian Civil War. So I guess congratulations for Indonesia, I suppose. Our next focus will be uh, what? Uh, the US backed curse so of the SMP will become the ruling party. I think, I'm not sure if that was the case like in history anyways i'll be back when the coup happened because to be honest it's quite boring i'll also uh, be here when i got new events to report and here we go ladies and gentlemen the usa backed coup has succeeded the prc has announced the single uh, soviet treaty by the way and indonesia won the civil war having a strong economical base there meanwhile We'll go ahead and westernize Syria, giving us a nice educational reform and the national spirit capitalism, which will grant us uh, minus 5% research time and national spirit capitalism, 20% production efficiency cap, research time, and some nice boost in political power gain. I'm gonna get extended conscription since I can assure you that we will need the manpower, as well as a military theorist, and I should actually get. An industrial concern there. Um, Alright, so after we finish the research of those, well, military doctrine has to wait. We simply have more urgent matters with our uh, two research slots only. I'm not sure if I have told it already, but the applying is Francis quite fun, and I'm gonna upload the episodes uh, when I apply it as France after uh, I upload this. Yeah, we need eight. Oh, come on, I cannot afford to import anything. Well, there we go. Um, well, it's all points, all seven years ahead. You know what? Well, let's uh, just, just, just. Oh, well, look, the Western nation of Syria has even completed. Just gonna wait like one month, then that uh, penalty should be gone. Since we can save up the one, okay, it's not, it's not a problem. But we are Syria. Then it will be, we'll do the. I mean, yeah. Whatever. I don't know why it just opened all two commodities. It, it should certainly be more. Well, you know, actually going communist would have been more interesting as Syria. Because, pff, yep, come on. I mean, we could have the uh, we could have the Soviet Union on, on our side. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure. If you think that I should play as Syria, but actually go communist, then uh, let me know down below in the comments because actually I'm actually really tempted to go ahead and uh, play as communist Syria because you know we could join the common turn and simply get Soviet help everywhere and then we would not feel alone I want I think I'm gonna actually yeah uh, keep just restart the game restart the episode and play as uh, communist Syria because, I mean, come on, we cannot create our own faction, we would be simply isolated and the game wouldn't be really as much fun as it would be with having the entire also packed behind us. You know, we could even trigger a world war that way. I'm sure that all of you ag agree with me, so I actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. 
if you just want me to play as a uh, buff test party for whatever reason, then let me know in the comments. But from a logical perspective, come on, this is way more fun, way more enjoyable, and I think that's really why that it is supposed to. That series is supposed to be played as with a strong ally by your side, which can actually support you militarily. There we go. Uh, if you say, yeah, but you could have uh, went democratic and get the native on your side, no, that doesn't work. Uh, I can just... Hello everyone, I am Sacred, and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. Communism has never come to power in a country that was not disrupted by a war or internal corruption or both. Well, Canada, that's a bold statement of Kennedy. Let me know in the comments if you think if he is right or not. Normally uh, we should get uh, another screen, but you know my heart fire tends to always uh, freeze when I launch the game. Don't ask me why, it's uh, a thing simply how the game works. Yeah, I'll see how the is for not for not responding, that's a great way to start this episode. Here we go and now just finish loading. Yep. It's the, uh, it's the same every time, it's the same. Uh, yeah, we, I, how I told you, I wanted to uh, start the game as communist Syria. Uh, I, I may think that the uh, sound may be a bit too much, let me uh, lower it. Alright, there we go. I am not sure, please let me know how the sound is, because I am playing with speakers. I don't know the quality, uh, like if the microphone is recording it twice and how it's looking. So please uh, let me know if it's uh, if the sound quality is okay or if the sound quality is bad. But if it's, if, if it's bad, then clearly I can well change it. Let's see, France is yeah badly losing their war against the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Let's see how it's gonna be like. Well, I doubt that they can. French protect or Cambodia has also surrendered. Now only uh, Vietnam. Exists a bit there. What's well, really gonna be really, really interesting? We have zero megawatts because we don't want to be an underdeveloped country. What? Oh, I. Yeah. Okay, we don't get any bonus because we have a net balance of zero megawatts. Alright, I see the problem there. Well, I so said we're gonna embrace the Syrian Communist Party. Simply embrace it. I'm also gonna hire. Get the war economy going, as well as hire a cabinet minister, a uh, communist advisor, if we could find him, of course. Uh, a Trotskyist, no, not Trotskyist, a communist politician, no, it's getting. Uh, Alright, yeah, it's slowly rising in popularity, that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing. Because you know, we don't want to be alone, and well, we'll be the Geneva courts. Alright. Uh, Alright, so whatever, you know, uh, the Vietnamese Civil War is gonna fire off soon, but not that soon. Alright, Reckless. Let's get General Halil Ibn Hassan. Lead our armies there. The uh, Federation of Malaya won, being a part of the British. The end of the Greek Civil War. After three years and six months of fighting, it's over. And well, the Republic of Indonesia should as always win the Civil War, so nothing that's well uh, special there. You know what, I'll be back after we actually get something interesting or after we embraced the Soviet back to revolution, so I'll see you then. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are the Soviet back to revolution is coming quite soon also. I told it once more, but I can gladly tell it once more. I'm not going the buffest path because you know we will be alone all the time. Besides, the focus tree is badly done. Because just look to that. Here we get a boost in the fascism, and here we get a boost in just 0.02 in national socialism. So going that path would result that the fascists would constantly have uh, much power and that they would be threatening our government. So I think if you go the buffest path, then this boost has to go away, or this shouldn't be there at all. 
But like I said, with this tiny boost compared to this, you clearly see that the Fascists are gonna win in the long term, even if you high analyze it. Well, you're playing a Syria is badly done as well because you don't even have a, um, a picture for the uh, communists. Well, whatever, let me play with all the picture, that's fine for me. We're just gonna get socialist policies. Yeah, we need 90,000 weapons, that's clearly the case, since we are recruiting 100,000 men. Uh, before I, uh, I make any expansions, I want to wait until these countries, you know, they should get some factories so I can capture them. And well, we get more factories, that's, I think that's a straightforward plan. We can do well, they are quite well trained, they can't go above uh, reg regular. Uh, therefore, the only thing we can do right now is wait. I'll be back if I'll, if such something bad happens. So the People's Republic of China creates Simplified China. You can see it's clearly simplified there, but it looks like a completely different script if you ask me. I'm wondering if the Chinese can also read that or read that. Oh, anyways, uh, we really need resources since we uh, don't have any steel at all. But let's see, if we go this path, well, I'm not sure. We reject. Okay, that's not that useful anymore. That I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually um, get some mining. So I'm gonna get the first three paths. Yeah, so let's get the industrial effort. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So by the way, playing as Iraq or playing as Saudi Arabia or as Egypt would have made things way easier for us since they actually have a, I think, more interesting focus tree and a, yep, really more interesting focus tree and a better economy. But well, you guys want me to play as Syria and here I'm going. If you have other suggestions of yourself, let them know in the comments and uh, like them. It's uh, super easy to do and I think it's time to annex Lebanon. They uh, won't go for the construction effort since I, well, I really would have liked them to see going for that, but well. Let's uh, keep waiting for a bit, let's see. What are they doing? What are the um, Jordanians doing? Well, the Jordanians. The thing is, if I was annex them, well, they only would give me two military factories and three civilian ones, so not a really a huge guy. Well, they have... I think we can maybe wait a bit more, don't you think? Yeah, could be alright. And war in Korea and founding the new China. So, the Korean Civil War had begun. Surprise, surprise. Well, I think, yeah, let's get some chromium as well. Really, we just have 6 and 6. Iraq is simply OP if you ask me. They have 19 and 21. I don't know why Iraq is so strong. So capturing Iraq will be a, well, huge, huge problem. At least we can capture, I think, uh, Jordania and uh, Lebanon without any problems. I'm just hoping for Lebanon that they're gonna research that. Construction effort 3. And then, my plan is to capture them. You know, we are hearing the music of Call of Duty Black Ops. And now we see the Korean Civil War. So, well, until now it was either a ceasefire or a complete victory by the North Koreans. I'm really thrilled to see what's gonna be now. Well, Seoul has been lost. And the North Koreans clearly have superior divisions compared to the South. It's really gonna be interesting to spectate. Anyway, let's just get the advancement of press trades and see current wars. There's only the Korean War active. The South, let's just keep spectating. The South is just losing troops like I don't know what, like just cannon fodder. Well, it's it's certainly costly for the South. They are losing around 5,000 troops every day. Three North Koreans. So, without involvement, the North Koreans are gonna win the war without a doubt. Other PRC, you can go out and stop with your ministries. We got the chromium, which we wanted, but Sally, nobody wants to trade with us. Let's get that extra little civilian factory there. And let's see, you should be done. Dip, you are trying quite well. We have four divisions, it's fine for me. I simply don't want to go for the uh, construction effort three. Well, two factories are really important. Two, you may think, well, come on, it's only two, but are you? Wearing so much, but well, they are really bloody bloody important. And to be honest, I don't have really uh, many places to expand to. For example, 
Chronicle of Cyprus. Well, if they would be independent, I could invite them mainly with North Korea defeated South Korea. Oh wow. Once more, the North Koreans won. Well, I was completely not expected to see that, to see uh, such a quick and such a swift victory. But well, we have surprises, surprises, and there we have a surprise. Well, I think we could in actually invite Libya. They have four military and five civilian factories. Um, I'm just thinking of getting some destroyers. Therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and get the naval effort, get some destroyers. Like, I think if you be like five should be enough, then invite them in name of the Ara Arab unification effort. You could say, I think that's a nice plan, isn't it? Yep, they don't have any troops whatsoever. And the good thing is, they are nominally independent. So, if the African states slowly become independent, then yeah, it would be nice. We got, yeah, about one extra factory, hooray, hooray, they are doing infrastructure efforts. Well, whatever. I'm gonna get some extra more factories there, I simply need them. Oh, look to that, look to that. France actually became communist, I uh, hadn't noticed it, by the way. For say, we are still playing with Iron Man Mount, for example, I can't say. I can even show it to you later. Well, France became cameras and they are aligning with Moscow. Well, that was not expected at all. What the Republic of Indonesia declared war on the Republic of Indonesia? What is going on there? It is the reactionaries fighting against socialists. Alright, another civil war. The socialists versus the reactionaries. So, well. Indonesia had just become independent and now they're engulfed in another bloody civil war. Mm, well, the game never stops uh, being interesting at all. But I I'm kind of bored of that shit. Apartment of Preston Concrete. What? The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics joins the Warsaw Pact? Really? Are you just kidding me? I think they meant France. Yep, France joined the common form, not the Union of Soviet Soviet Republics, what was that? That was really the Union of Soviet Soviet Republics, was it? Well, now they are part of the common form, that's interesting. Let's get these two extra factories boosting, hopefully, our crippled and little economy. Well, we need a huge boost, that is for sure. For example, we can't afford a war against the Araki yet. Perhaps, maybe soon, maybe soon. Well, if we... Uh, fight them, then it will be worth it. It will be worth it, because they have such a strong industry. Therefore, we have to expand our actually military doctrine. I don't know what to get here, to be honest. Perhaps let's just uh, start getting these bonuses, you know. And perhaps, let's see, well, we, we only have such basic infantry equipment that it's kind of just, let's get division defense. I am planning on doing a long defensive war against the Araki. Uh, planning to wear their army out at one point and then to strike against them. Finally, how I won in the development is going for a construction effort 3, therefore being a nice chunk to annex. Alright, just let them finish it. After that, we are just gonna annex 3 military, 3 naval, and actually 6 civilian factories, therefore giving us a huge boost in our uh, capabilities of expanding. And it will be goodbye, Lebanon. Goodbye, love them, declare war. There we go. Just march into the territories, into Beirut. There we go. Completely encircling the Lebanese army. There they have two divisions. Now they are being encircled. We lost 1,000. They lost zero. 1.8 thousand. They lost 9,600. Now at the capture of Tripoli and the fall of Lebanon. What is the result? As far as possible, just that demonstrating our. Arab uh, socialist Syrian strength, I suppose. We took six sides, effectively annexing one military, one civilian, four civilian, two and two military factories. As well as, I don't know why, we have nothing there in Beirut. Oh, what? I, I didn't annex Beirut? Really? My god. Yep, I think I didn't annex Beirut. Uh, <laughs> Alright, wow. I forgot to annex their capital. Really? Uh, I Alright, I just should have clicked all the steps. Well, it, it's a mistake, you see. We are playing on Iron Man Mount, so there's nothing I can do against it. Unfortunately, yep, they still have Beirut. Well, 
Alright, I, I can live with that. Now we know or not. I mean, we just didn't annex one military factor of this. It's not that's a huge problem, I think. At least we have uh, two naval dockyards now. We're gonna get the naval effort. I don't know why we are building the factories in Soft Platinum. Anyways, let's get Destroyer 4. Got plenty of that. I got one extra military factory. I wanna get more artillery. Who's gonna be next? I think the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan will be next. Yeah, let's get our army ready against them. This war may be a little bit more interesting. I'm just gonna wait a bit and see how the situation develops. Ladies and gentlemen, our second war is gonna start against the Jordanians. There we go. Our declaration of war has been issued. We're just gonna march into the land. We're gonna execute it in a balanced manner. So our primary goal is gonna be to cut these three divisions from their main supply routes off. I think that's actually gonna work with, with fine. Yeah. Do not expand, just keep marching. There we go. You also just right, stay there. Alright, they just wanna. Keep going, how you can see. Alright, they are retreating while they are continuing to march. Just cutting their troops off from any connection. That uh, seems to be like a good deal. A lot of still exist as a mini, mini, tiny state there. Yeah, oh, poor them, poor them. I'm gonna fully annex Lebanon down because, well, we want to annex Saudi Arabia. They have 7 to 14 divisions and they have a strong economy. So if we could annex Saudi Arabia, it would give us a huge, insanely huge boost for our economy, which would be just amazingly great. See, they got some mountains, so therefore it would be smart to deploy some mountain here. Actually, let's get some marines. Some marines, because, you know, we want to invite, actually, the uh, Tripolitanians, so how they call it, they do not have any troops. Therefore, yeah, we don't need any marines. Just get mountaineers instead. Alright, just let's see how many can we get. Right. Let's get three divisions of mountains. Three. All right. Just marching to their capital. They are retreating to the west bank. They're retreating to the west bank. Let's see. They lost fifteen thousand troops, while we only lost four thousand. Our manpower is twice as strong as theirs. Yep. They are retreating to the west bank. Well, the west bank is gonna see some fight. Look at that. Well, they are doing construction effort too, so let's stop, stop the advancement, stop it, stop it. Because we want them to finish that, so right, just stop the advancement. Keep moving out, now just hold the defensive stance, I'll be back when they are next. Alright, they got the extra factories, now we are gonna march in. March in, just march into the west bank kind of unopposed. Leaving these two divisions there uh, untouched, and after the capture of Akaba, the uh, Hashemites should surrender, there we go, not take all the states, and turn, and here we go, fully annexed, really boosting our economies and giving us a nice boost in civilian factories. Now we're gonna boost the uh, Araki Marxist Leninists, as well as the Yemeni Marxist Leninists. Because you know, the civil war is gonna spark off soon, therefore being prepared for that. Now we directly border the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia proposing a threat to the Arabians. The Israeli, they are too uh, well fortified. We have minus 30 megawatts though, therefore I have to just produce one thing for not produce as many, produce an insanely high amount of coal plants. Coal plants, that is what we need. Alright, just coal plants wherever I can, because we are really crippling, we are really suffering from having too little of those. Let's see, we have 9 divisions here, they're gonna prepare against the Saudi Arabians. The Saudis will be our next target, but if I could make them prepare, front line, the KKF doesn't want me to do that, so alright, come on. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Why, you know, why can't I even see my own troops? I, 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 I just don't get it, like, what the fuck, really? Hello? Hello? Well, well what the fuck? Alright, all right, I can see them now. I just just can't make a front line anywhere. Come on, what, what should that bullshit mean? Um, well, next, I'm going to, to align ourselves with the Soviet Union. 
Alright, with our army nearly uh, counting 100,000 troops, I think will we be ready to face the Saudis? Not yet, the army is a little bit... Uh, what the assassination of Konrad Adenauer? Really? No. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Right. What's going on? Are the monarchists monarchists rising? I have no idea whatsoever. Well, anyways, our industry is stronger than the German ones. I think that's quite the success, isn't it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I would have I wouldn't have expected that, but the colonies are slowly the countries are slowly but steadily losing their colonial empire. France uh, is losing them, the British are also slowly losing the colonial empire. Uh, the French lost it actually, they lost quite a bit. They lost Senegal and Algeria without. I think they just decolonized it, if you, if you just ask me. I think they just decolonized it, did they? I have no idea. Alright, they are reunifying Germany. Subjugate Australia. Well, I don't know, but the British, they didn't lose any colonies yet, so never mind them. Perhaps they will. Actually, will they? Will, like, can they even just release, like, stop decolonizing the countries? Let's just see the Dominions, the Commonwealth. Subjugate. Oh, what? They, they can certainly subjugate their colonial empires. That is really, really interesting. Alright, so apparently they are preserving the empire. Yep, yeah, they are preserving the empire, so I don't think that uh, any countries are gonna become independent. Unless uh, there is... Alright, so the British are gonna keep the empire. I think that's what you get if you play uh, without historical air focuses. So, well, I guess we have to conquer the British dominions then, although that's just not really difficult, it will be told. It will be difficult to go the Saudi Arabians. Well, that's simply gonna start a war against them, don't you think? I think the time has come. Here we go, the time of reckoning has come. War against Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, that's not uh, looking that great with uh, us, let's get some Soviet volunteers. Alright, they are pushing us back severely. Let's be reorganized, have not played that quick. Alright, well the Saudis, they are certainly better than expected, but that won't be a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and overextend the front line. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well whatever. If you lose it, you lose. I don't fucking even care. Soviet. Let's get some Soviet fighters. Yeah, 1,000 free Soviet points would be greatly appreciated. We lost 8,000 Saudis, lost 12,000 men. Let's just ensure the stability of the front line. Alright, we are winning at every front at this moment. If they would just stop moving out that quickly and rapidly. Alright, don't attack, don't attack. Let's just hold defensive positions for now. No, do not lose Jordania. No, come on. Why are they just defending so horribly bad? Come on, that, that shouldn't be the case. Just fighting back and forth, back and forth. At least six Soviet divisions. Wow, they have sent us a tank divisions. That is gladly, uh, that's welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Soviet Union. Well, Battles are going on really, really quickly. Just, let's see. You think they are ready to attack? Let's try to attack. Right, it's looking somewhat good. Let's force attacking. All right, I've run out of infantry equipment, unfortunately. Let's see, we have light tanks and we have heavy tanks. So let's actually produce some heavy armored divisions. Let's see, it requires not too many heavy tanks. Mm -hmm. Medium armored division. Don't have that many tanks. We can't do anything with them because they are simply too little. Well, the Soviet divisions are greatly helping us. Let's see if we can even cut them off. Yeah, one mobile division would have been really, really helpful. But well, we are doing fine with all this. Well, come on, Sovietsky Soyuz. All right, the Saudis are retreating as fast as possible. Look to that. <laughs> 
All right, our nice. Let's see if we can capture Tabuk. Every province captured is a great victory for the war efforts. If there, the battle stopped. We have too many divisions there. Let's see. They're moving out, but we want to outmaneuver them, don't we? Yes, we want to do that. So we're outmaneuvering their troops. Well, they're going from the defensive to the offensive. Well, the Soviets are certainly insanely helping us much. I think without Soviet help, this war would have been, well, it wouldn't go that well to say the least, you know. Alright, my aim is to encircle them. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they are too slow. I think uh, they can outmaneuver me. Yeah, they even have one uh, mobile division by themselves. You now keep moving into the province. Alright. Apparently, yep, they are doing everything not to get encircled. Oh, the Spanish state declared war on a spy. What's going on there? Oh, the Spanish state. What? Alright, the Spanish Civil War, fascists against progressives. Alright, look to that. Fascists against progressives. So I think that's about the decolonization. Uh, well, it's, it's sad to see that Britain isn't, like, uh, resisting. I mean, that the colonies are still just staying alive and that Britain is still preserving their empire. Well, the front line has stabilized with our army being Siegreich and our front successful at all fronts. That's nice. And Iran has just declared war against Afghanistan. Alright, the Iran the Afghani war. Well, we are running slow on infantry equipment. It's not a problem, is it? Not at all. We captured half of Saudi Arabia. They still have a considerable strong force, but they are suffering crippling casualties and I mean, they have the industry to sustain it, but they aren't, I mean, considering our Soviet troops, they are losing more ground and ground every day. It is just a question of time. Just to capture a few more provinces, just a question of time until absolute victory is going to be ours. Can you smell victory? It's gonna be great. I don't know why we got the engineer company, but apparently it isn't uh, even consuming any. So I think that's a flawed. I don't know. We're working on that fine. We captured 10 military factories. Oh, that's great. Let's start getting our first. Let's see. Uh, improved first gem 20, 40, 40. 20. Let's get our first points. Our first MBTs. Our first self propelled artillery. And our. That's, I think, good for now. Yeah, there we go. Syria. The Saudis, the Saudis. Their loss is imminent. We even... There we go. The fall of Saudi Arabia and the annexation of Saudi Arabia into the Soviet state of Syria. Greatly boosting our industrial catabolities. Now, what next? What next? Well, look to that. Iraq has become fascist. But I think we're gonna trigger a civil war soon. Yep. I think that's what we do. And ladies and gentlemen, as promised, as promised, we're gonna conquer the Cyrenaica Emirates. Yep, they will fall quickly. First, let's just just get a thing. Let's get a mobile water doctrine, yeah. Well, you see they don't have any divisions but a nice industry. So that will be a nice gift to the Syrian toast. There we go, our divisions are already on route. Now oh, they joined this Scandinavian Defense Union. Well, that is interesting. Can I just join a common turn? No, I can't. Well, let they, they join the Scandinavian Defense Union. Alright. That's really interesting, so apparently we have to occupy them. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine for me. Alright, oh what, they got divisions out of nowhere. Alright, it's, it's no problem at all. Simply send our entire army to take them out. There we go. Attacking aggressively. Let's see. Uh, can I deploy plants as well? Yeah, we have to capture an airbase first, then. 
Space Captain Air Base. Well, they really have bad organization though, despite having some troops. Well, 11 Soviet divisions arrived on our side. That's, that's quite nice, but I don't think we can actually take out Finland, so we'll be basically forever at war with them. Uh, we can deploy, well, well 1,000 clients. That's quite a bit of assistance from the Soviets, without a doubt. This will greatly benefit our war efforts. And we're gonna harshly occupy them. There we go. I think they should surrender. A quick production effort 3, whatever. Yep, they're gonna surrender soon. Well, I don't know why, but we don't have an option to actually join the common turn. The Soviets don't want, alright, they are fully occupied though. I need to detach, let's say, maybe three divisions. Three divisions to occupy them. It says two, but if I increase it to half this policy, we actually require five. Alright, five. Well, that's quite a bit. So basically, our whole army. Well, that's fine for me. That's fine for me. Anyways, I think I'm gonna um, finish it here. It's kind of boring. If truth be told, just to play that. Yep, I think. Uh, uh, thank you for watching it, and goodbye. Have a nice day.